for yo, yo, yo. I'm here. I'm here. I had to go ahead and get some things set, man. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to Third Coast Sports TV, too. I'm your host, Wink. And we go ahead and we're about to get this mock draft started. I'm going to wait for a few people to go ahead and come in here before I start putting out all the picks. And uh, once the video is done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the picks and the rounds and uh, the trades that I was able to do on uh, firstpick.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put all those picks and stuff in the uh, description box once we get a few more people going and getting in here. Jimmy T13, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream once again. We appreciate you coming through, man. Y'all go ahead, y'all hit that like button if y'all in here. I see it's five people in here. Y'all go ahead, y'all hit that like button. I see seven people in here. Y'all go ahead, y'all hit that like button. Ronald, what, what's going on, man? I appreciate that sub, man, from uh from 78 Sports TV. He fell through in the last stream I just did, so I appreciate that. Uh, Ronald, for, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I told you I was. I just said in the last video I was getting ready to do another video for the mock draft because I wanted to go ahead and I, I had to do this mock draft. I had to. I had to try to donate. Oh, I don't have no. Uh, oh, you tried to donate on 78? Yeah, I feel you, bro. Yeah, he be speaking that real shit. I I had to donate, bro. I always gotta donate to 78 when I when I try to come through. Y'all go ahead and y'all hit the uh that hit the like button. What's crack eleven, brother? Oh, what's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. Jose, welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Y'all hit that like button for me. So we're gonna go ahead, once we get like ten people in here, we're gonna start delving on into the my draft. I'm talking about uh waiting on a few more of y'all to go ahead and get in here so I can go ahead and get this uh my draft started. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, go back in the stream and let everybody know that um uh, I mean in the uh chat just let everybody know I'm doing another stream. So they can follow on through. Cause you know how YouTube be with these damn notifications. Some people get them, some people don't. Cause I guarantee you somebody gonna come back in the comments late section later on saying they didn't get the damn notification or something like that. And y'all go ahead and y'all hit that like button. I don't know what YouTube be. I don't know what YouTube be on. They be on some bullshit. I don't know why the fuck they don't be sending people notifications out. It, it, that should be getting ridiculous, bro. King eighty eight, what's going on, bro? I just did a video. You should have came through the last stream. We were talking about the Derek Youth situation. Yeah, YouTube do be on people, bro. They really do. They re they really be on that bullshit, bro. I don't know why they be doing people like that, but they be because. People be wanting to come through on live streams and get their live reactions and shit like that. And it's a shame that YouTube don't be doing their part. I, th I honestly think they be doing that shit on purpose because they try to keep some certain certain people's um, channels and shit like that suppressed. Oh, yeah. Brandon Brooks, I just saw that. Rocky B uh, on Instagram just sent me some uh, a bunch of uh, DMs with everything they're saying. Him and Lane Johnson. Yeah, uh, the Eagles going in on the Texans right now for that Derrick for that Derrick Newton cut releasing shit. Man, they are going in on the Texans, and I don't blame them. We look, we a fucking joke, and you see why we ain't got no respect out here, because the fucking people that we got at the top don't have no respect for the players. So how can anybody respect this organization? I understand. I don't blame them. I I, I can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. Most people have 100,000 subs and YouTube just random send random notifications. Yeah, just subscribe to you. Man, I saw that, bro. I saw that. Um, man, I appreciate that, King Air Ray. Man, I appreciate everything. Yeah, I, I ended up gaining like 20 extra subscribers off that damn stream this morning because the shit was lit, bro. 78 was speaking the truth as always. So I appreciate him. I appreciate y'all. You know, I'm a Houston Texans uh, tuba. You know what I'm saying? I talk primarily Houston sports along with a few other people that's in the chat right now. Uh, we got some shit called a round table where we talk on soft sports and we talk about the state of, he you know, uh, uh, everything Houston. You know what I'm saying? From the Dynamo to the fucking Rockets, uh, Houston Texans and shit like that because we're trying to supplant, you know, the national, you know, at least the local media in Houston because they don't be doing a good fucking job and they don't be ripping the age like they're supposed to. So we're going to make sure that we go ahead and we do what's right. And we don't just talk about, we talk about boxing, 
You know, we talk about MMA, we talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. It's hard to get 100. Hey, you got damn right. <laughs> hey, you already know what it is. Yeah, I'm just waiting on a couple more people to go ahead and get on up in here so I can get ahead and start talking about this mock draft, man. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, because I said I was going to start doing the video when I got like 10 people in here. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. And I appreciate all the new subs, man, and it came through from, um, you know, from 78 Sports Channel, man. I Trust me, I appreciate it. We got 10 people in here, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it started for this uh this is my draft 4.0 video. Hector, what's going on, bud? What's going on, man? I know you're hearing all the news out here, man, in, in terms of the Texans, bro. This shit right here is getting fucking frustrating, bro. It's getting frustrating, bro. It's 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 too much shit out here, bro. We we, we suffered enough. Like, ha, ha, ha. Look forward to seeing your channel. Man, oh, yeah, it's going to do that, bro. And with the, you know, with the fucking support of everybody and everybody staying humble everybody doing their job everybody making sure that they go ahead and they um and they help a brother out because i'm gonna give back i'm gonna make sure y'all got y'all content y'all y'all entertain and y'all at the end of the day y'all gain some good knowledge on your damn selves you know what i'm saying because it's all about helping the next man and helping people who helps you you know what i'm saying that's what it's all about so i appreciate y'all coming through I, I appreciate everybody coming through I just saw you had uh, made two videos. I didn't get to check them out yet because I was just did a video, a live stream about the Derrick Newton situation. And I'm finna get ready to hop into this mock draft video right here, right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I feel you, Ronald. I feel you, bro. Trust me. It ain't easy, but shit. This shit fun. I like doing this shit. But, yeah, we gonna go ahead and we gonna get on into it, man. So, okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I was able to, so I was able to get, um, you know, the Texans, they got like seven picks for this year's draft. I got, I just got 19 picks with Trey. So I just picked up 12 extra picks. Y'all know how I be doing. I'm a GM of the century. And, uh, you know, I was able to get a whole lot of value. This is probably the best draft I did. I done done a whole lot of my drafts. I done done well over 90-some drafts, man, because Ray Ray put me on, bro. Shout out to Ray Ray. And uh, this shit addictive, bro. Go on first, go on firstpick.com, and you can do, like, my draft simulators and shit like that, bro, and go ahead and if you fuck with the NFL and shit like that, you can go ahead and, um, and make up my drafts and shit like this. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into it. I sent you my draft before. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. You had DM me that on uh, on Instagram. I remember that shit. Yeah, but what I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into these first picks, man. So, I ended up trading out of that, uh, that first pick in the third round, that fourth pick, and I ended up moving back with Cincinnati. And uh, at pick 13 in round three, I was able to pick up, uh, the first pick I picked up was Rashad Penny, uh, running back from San Diego State. Uh, the next pick in the third round at pick 32, I had picked up uh, Duke Dawson for Florida. Y'all know I fuck with Duke Dawson. He's the best corner in the league. I mean, or well, the best corner in the draft. You don't believe me, go watch his tape. He'll show you everything. Fuck the fact he's 5'11". This boy is a, is a motherfucking beast. And what's going on, Devontae Love? Appreciate you coming through, bro. Make sure you smash that like button. You know the drill. Either not, if you, anybody don't... um. Anybody that don't follow the drill, y'all already know. What, if y'all new to the channel, I got this thing, bro. You fuck up, you say something stupid, just make sure that you go to the the, the nearest garage near you. Make sure it's full of diesel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that you cut the car on. Make sure you crack the back window. I'm going to get a water hose. Duct tape it to your tailpipe. Make sure I super glue your foot to the gas pedal and just breathe in, bro, until you die. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. Yeah, but um, the next... <laughs> The next, the next pick I got, uh, I'm late in my school, bro. It's all good, bro. I just got started, so you ain't, so you good, you good, you good. Whenever you tuned in, man, it's a pleasure. Trust me. Uh, my third pick for the uh thirty fourth pick in the third round, I picked a uh, Mason Cole, a center slash uh tackle. Yeah, Watson is a beast, and I'm gonna post that baby as soon as I get through with this video. Um. On Michigan, I had got a. I can't get the money. Oh, I can't. Do, I don't have a super chat. 
I don't have a super chat on here because I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. You got to have a thousand subscribers before you can set up a super chat. But I appreciate it though anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mason Cole. I had picked up Mason Cole from Michigan. Uh, I got him at pick 34. At pick 35 in round three, I picked up Lorenzo Carter, which was crazy. I, I think I think so. I think by draft time, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. My goal is to have at least 800 subscribers by the time the draft is over, which is in two weeks. That's gonna be my goal. If I can get to 800, and with the help of 78 and a few other people, you know, shout me out. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that shape. But back on to, to this draft. Um, round four, and uh, for the pick three, I had got uh, Ian Thomas from. Um, the tight end from Indiana, so we got that. Um, pick 28 in round four, I ended up picking up Michael Dixon, the punter from Texas. Um, at pick 31 in round four, I picked up Antonio Callaway from Florida. Uh, the next pick at 32, I got Janor Avery, uh, inside linebacker from Memphis. Uh, round five, pick one, I got Deshaun Elliott from Texas, strong safety. Uh, next pick in round six, I got uh, Kurt Benkert at pick seven from Virginia. The one after that, uh, the next pick at, uh, at round, I mean, at uh, pick 10, round six, I got Cole Madison. Uh, pick 18 and six in uh, round six, I got Zach Seiler from uh, the DN from Ferris State. Next pick at uh, 19, I got Kiki Kusi. From uh, wide receiver from Texas Tech. Uh, round six, uh, thirty at pick thirty-two, I got Armani Watts free safety from Texas A&M. At uh, round and round six, pick thirty-four. At pick thirty-four, I got uh, Tony Weathersby, offensive tackle from LSU. Uh, round seven, uh, at pick four, I got Teron Johnson, cornerback from Weber State. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I fucked up yeah, on that one. Yeah, pick 37, I had got Tony Adams. I forgot I had skipped that one. Tony Adams from uh, North Carolina State. He's a guard. Uh, pick five in uh, round seven, I got James Looney, D-tackle from Cal. And pick 11 in round seven, I got Dorian O'Daniel from Clemson. That was my last pick. Uh, for the majority of these picks, I got A-plus grades on them or a solid A. I didn't get no A minuses, no nothing, and they graded my draft like a twenty four thousand. On um, it was like I was like the number one in that draft when it came to um, everybody with the picks. So um, I had moved back up. I had picked up like an extra twelve, or twelve extra picks out of that seven that we had initially, and I moved up and I got depth all over the place. Who all we got in here? Okay. Armani Watts. Yeah, I was able to get more Armani Watts in like the, the fucking sixth round, which was crazy. But he been dropping like, he been dropping like Deshaun Elliott and all these guys, bro. They be dropping, bro. Would you have got a wide receiver instead of a punter? I did get a uh, wide receiver. I ended up getting two wide receivers. I got Kiki Kuti and I got, uh, who else did I get? A receiver. I got two receivers. I ended up picking up um, in the fourth round. I ended up getting Antonio Callaway from Florida. And I got way out from, I'm from VT. Oh, we all from Houston. The majority of us, we from Houston. Um, what happened? Um, I got him. Yeah, I got him and I got old buddy from uh, Texas Tech. Or oh, Texas A&M. I'm, I'm, yeah, he was from Texas Tech. Kiki Cootie, yeah, that's where he from. Not me, I'm from heart. That's why I said the majority of us. Yeah, I know some people scattered out. You know, they from all over, though. We get love from all over, shit. Motherfuckers from my video, watching my videos from the UK, the Netherlands. Um, no, not Foreman. No, not Armani Foreman. I'm talking about Armani Watts, the free safety. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody pretty much scattered out. But the majority of my following was from Houston, though. Which player is the most expendable on the Texans? Man, there's no telling right now, Wise. It ain't no telling right now, bro. With what they doing, 
Well, what they doing and, and the fact that it just came through, the notification just came through from the Texans that they didn't release uh, Derek Newton. So, I mean, it ain't really no. We, we don't know, bro. We in fans, we in limbo right now. The fucking Eagles, Eagles, the Eagles players is making a mockery of us right now. And, it, and they should because we fucking up right now. Like, we don't. Like, we already had offensive line troubles. You think you're going to bring Sean Trail Henderson and all these guys in and that they finna come in and just outright perform better than Derrick Newton? I just don't see that. I don't think either one of them was going to end up outperforming Derrick Newton. The only, the only notable thing you can do right now, the only notable thing you can do right now is if you move um, David Quisenberry, David Quisenberry to the damn uh, right side. And I'm not, I'm not even sure if he's still on the roster. I didn't see him get resigned because his contract was already over. We picked him up on like a one-year deal. So unless we resign David Korsenberry, which I'm, which if y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is he even still on the roster? Cause I don't know, and I'm not. I, I mean, I can't get off my phone and check right now because I don't want, I don't want to end the live stream or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to communicate with y'all and talk about this shit some more in depth. But it doesn't make no sense to me to make that move when you could have saved way more money. And see, there you go, Broderick. Man, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, Ronald. We appreciate everybody in here. We all men. We ain't cooning. We ain't buck dancing. We doing what we got to do, bro. My, my, me. Now, so don't know dumb shit happen. <laughs> yeah, I haven't made no mods, man. I haven't made not one. I haven't made nobody no mods just yet. I don't know why I haven't done it. Don't know dumb shit happen on my channel really like that anyway. But since you asking... And you just came in and you just show love, man. Shit, I go ahead and I make you a mod. Why not? You ask. I don't think nobody else. I don't think nobody else asks. What is it, baby? The door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll open it. I'll open it. Don't you start crying. It's okay. Yeah, I don't really. Have, yeah, I don't. Really, yeah, I'm good right now. Yeah, I don't really. Wink. What did you think about what Connor did? What you talking about, Connor McGregor? Bro, he look like a hooligan. <laughs> like he. He's a hoodlum. Conor McGregor, bro, he is, we, we already know what it is with Conor McGregor, bro. I don't want to give that man too much shine because he, he in the penal system right now. So I don't, I don't really have to sit here and worry about this. He got his biggest biggest payday from a boxer. It's, it, it's clear that he want to do everything he can to get out from under. It's clear as day that he doing everything he can to get out from under Dana White. So he don't mind putting his uh his family and shit like that at risk and risking money. He don't care. As long as he can get up out of Dana White, he can do what he want to do with that money that he made from the Mayweather fight. That's all that matters to this man. It's clear as day him and Dana ain't rocking like that. It's clear as day. Have you been watching it? No, I ain't been watching it, bro. I might end up uh catching on because I don't really... I ain't really been I ain't really been fucking with Adrian Broner like that because he been letting me down, bro. The last time I rode with Adrian Broner, when I was in Kuwait last year, when I was doing some work, I stayed up all night, and it was real late for me to watch that fight between him and Mikey Garcia, and Mikey Garcia handled him, bro, handled him. Oh, I oh I just posted the video. It's up. Hey, Devontae, trust me, I want to see, yeah, everybody want to see Wilder and Joshua, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, that fight get made, Eddie Hearn and AJ stop bullshitting, and they stop giving this man the run around, I'm telling you right now, he stops AJ quicker than he did Stavern in the rematch. I've been saying this in comment section, people been coming to me talking about I'm still, I'm, okay, all right. For one, you had already made this man wait. The biggest challenge was already met when he fought King Kong Ortiz three weeks ago. It is nobody in the heavyweight division who is no who is of no factor to Deontay Wilder than uh, King Kong Ortiz. That fight easily, if they made a rematch of that fight, that's going to be another classic. King Kong going to be to learn something in that fight. And honestly, I believe that man deserves a rematch. But he can't get no rematch before Wilder becomes undisputed. Tyson Fury has some skill, but let's just be frank. He don't have the athleticism. He don't have the, 
he ain't gonna have a chin bone to stand up to fucking Deontay Wilder's vibranium right hand. He just can't. It ain't nothing he gonna be able to do. It's no man in a, it's no man in America or in the world that's gonna be able to stand up to that hand. Like nobody, nobody can endure that right hand too many times. It didn't even take that many times for him to uh, land it on um, King Kong Ortiz, and he wasn't even landing flush. The fact that when he fought King Kong Ortiz and he was knocking this dudes out with granite, like like with grazing shots, that had, that told me everything. That told me that fight right there told me everything I didn't need to know because I know if uh, Wilder. I mean, not Wilder. If Joshua was in that position that fucking um, Wilder was in in that fight, he easily gets stopped. And I'd rather um, want to take a... Uh, yeah, it is, bro. Yeah, his, his wingspan crazy. <laughs> his wingspan stupid. Like, uh, should we draft uh, JT Barry? Nah, I would much rather want to have uh, Kurt Benkert from Virginia. He had problems with Klitschko, and Klitschko was like 39, 40. He was out of shape. He hadn't even fought in a while. And he had problems with an old Klitschko. What do you think he's going to do against a young, athletic animal like Deontay Wilder? He stands no chance, bro. I'm telling you right now. And then with all of this little, and then all of this little drama he having with 50 Cent and Big Baby and all of that, and, you know, his, his, his child got, you know, got spina bifida and, and, you know, it's just too much shit being talked about. And then he got fans, and he looking at these videos just like everybody else. You think these athletes don't watch YouTube? They seeing what we saying. He just did an interview with um with 78 like a week or two ago. You know, if y'all ain't watched that, bro, go go look, go to 78 Sports TV and subscribe if y'all like boxing talk, bro, and support the LDBC. Because I'm going to make sure they get their shine. I told them I've been shouting them out, and I'm going to continue to shout them out as long as I got breath in my body. Um, remember my broken leg I told you about? I got him a cat cat. Oh, okay, man. That's what's up, bro. He, he, he just used the straight right, too. Yeah, I mean, that was Klitschko's punch. That straight right, his one, too, was, was lethal, bro. Like, Klitschko had power, but Klitschko was old. And the fact that he dropped him, and he was so tired in that fight. I mean, that's why he's slimming his body now. He's slimming his body down the way he is now because he knows he stayed at that size that he was at when he fought Klitschko. He know damn well it ain't no way he would have had the stamina to last a 12-round fight against um, Deontay Wilder. He's getting himself ready. He's, getting, he's already prepping his body for the ass whooping he's going to take against Wilder because at the end of the day, the fans is going to win, and we're going to end up having that fight sooner than later. Eddie Hearn, think, Eddie, Eddie Hearn and, fucking, uh, and AJ think that they're going to milk this fight and they're going to milk the fans out of this fight. Fuck out of here, bro. The fans always getting what they want. Which KO was worse, Laverne 2 or Spilka? Spilka because how he ended up in the hospital, but what was more embarrassing was the um the Laverne. You need to live all day. Man, I try to go live as often as I can because I had been slacking over the last few weeks, man. People was hitting me up left and right and was, you know, was telling me, you know, when we're going to do some videos. So this is probably the most work I've done, done on, on YouTube, you know, in the last few weeks. And what's going on, Gold Time? Extra Gold Time. Appreciate you coming back through to the stream, bro. Yeah, um, Spilka ended up in the hospital. I think he tore a ligament in his knee. But, like, in terms of how Stavern got slumped and how his, uh, and how his damn, uh, his dreads was hanging on the rope. <laughs> After he talked all that shit, I mean, come on, man. Like, you can't talk like that. You can't talk like that and get knocked out in the first round. Like, yeah, it, it's, yeah, bro. Spilka was, Pavet can go end up getting getting it worse than that because because Pavetkin was on the menu to get it from, uh, I think it's the moment that he becomes undisputed, they're just going to fall one for one. So he going to end up getting Pavetkin. He going to end up getting a rematch. I think the first order of business, if he don't have a rematch immediately with AJ, I think he going to, I see a scenario where he going to end up giving uh, King Kong Ortiz a rematch. And that fight is gonna be, that fight is gonna be real good to watch. If, if if any rematch can be made in boxing right now, that's the that's the best rematch that that's happening right now. Nobody else, nobody else. I do I do I do a show on on um on South Sports on Wednesdays. It's called Wink Wednesdays because that's my name, and uh, I do it on South Sports. And um, so it they actually stream the same time that I stream on that show. 
You know what I'm saying? So you can go and if you want to check any some other shows in my playlist that I got, I done made it public now. I don't know why I had it on private. You know, so like if you want to go on South Sports and you want to see some other work that I've done on all the other shows, you can click where it's at, like in my playlist and it's got, you know, videos that I got on, on, on South Sports and shit like that. So you can see we talk boxing, we talk some MMA. I don't really like MMA like that, you know, because I prefer boxing, you know, but um, we definitely talk a lot of football. We talk a lot of uh, basketball and shit like that. Ruben Foster. Yeah, I heard about Ruben Foster. Yeah, and King Kong does deserve one. He does deserve one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause hey, shit, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Can you see the Abdella? That's my name. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right, bet. Who you talking about, Dillian White? <laughs> you say Dillian might, Dillian might die. <laughs> Foster might get 11 years. Oof. Oh my goodness, bro. You know what he can do? Kiss a goodbye. Jesus, bro. 11 years for whooping ass? Jesus. Damn, bro. I mean, he must want to be stabbed from house party. Oh, Honcho, what's going on, man? Under the hair dry. <laughs> Under the hair dry, KJ. <laughs> I come and watch the streams later. Man, that's what's up, bro. You already know what it is, man. <laughs> Honcho say he under the hat dryer. I guess he getting re he getting dreads retwisted. Donald Donald Stevenson got a fight coming up. I want to say he does, but I don't know who his opponent was. A Donald Stevenson man could have been so much better. He could have had a way better career than he had, bro. But he's just been holding shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, I think he beats Kovalev. Honcho in sports clips. Shit, he probably is. You know. Raycon Smith. Man, I just watched the... Uh, man, it's so funny you brought him up. Your famous Badu Jack. Badu Jack, nice. Badu Jack... Badu Jack is probably the nicest um, light heavyweight. I like, man. Especially after I watched his last fight. His last fight was beautiful. I forgot who he fought, but the last fight I watched him fight, that was spectacular boxing, bro. His body work was <laughs> spectacular, bro. Spectacular. We need some more American boxers to take out. Bro, we are taking them out. Bro, do you realize American boxers have ended the Cuban reign? Well, for the most part, Lomachenko ended uh, Guillermo Regan Dial. Wilder ended uh, King Kong Ortiz. And Jared Hurd just ended uh, Eris Landy Lara. Like, the Cuban reign is over. 78 made that point in the video when Jared Hurd... When Jared Hurd uh, end up winning that fight over this past weekend and that was man yes yes bro yeah man we all love the ldbc bro we went from a mock draft video to talking primarily boxing 78 would probably be proud of us right now but yeah um spence has probably the best body work in the game but he not the only one um chance crawford got some good body work we all know andre ward got some phenomenal body work um it's plenty of fighters, man, and we could go ahead and we could talk about we can name what you think about us and them and them in the rest of this World Cup shit with no qualification. Got my attention, man. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't I mean Russians I mean they got a history of cheating, bro. I mean, so they do this. I mean Pavekin just did it. Pavekin just got a nice ass knockout though, you know, right before um before the AJ fight, that was a nice ass knockout. I didn't see. I I thought he was gonna end up getting stopped, but um, Crawford last fight was the TKO, the body punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Indongo. Yeah, I mean him and Bo Mac out here talking cash shit about Errol Spence, bro. That's why I can't wait to see that fight. I love both fighters, bro. I can't, but I think because the fact that Errol Spence has stopped top competition, he beat. He beat arguably the number one welterweight in Kell Brook. Kell Brook, to me, skill-wise, is better than Keith Thurman. He's better than Keith Thurman to me. I mean, we might end up having some people who disagree, and that's fine. But it's nothing that I feel that Keith Thurman does better than uh, Kell Brook. I just don't. I don't think he's. And his stamina, his stamina, his stamina sucks. We all see around seven and eight. And just on stamina alone, uh, 
Keith Thurman get washed just on stamina. And and the fact that he had very good uh and, and, and the fit and and the fact that he had problems against Colazzo to the body. You don't come on bro, you ain't gonna take them whole like and, and, and Kel Brook is in far better shape. Is it far be- he tweeted his stick? Oh man, bro, you gotta screenshot that. You gotta screenshot that, bro, and put that in the chat. I'm gonna check that out when the stream is over. But like um if he couldn't take body shots and he wasn't even in shape enough like that to even really get rid of Danny Garcia the way that he did and he ran and how he, you know, was moving all over the field. I mean over the oh okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'm gonna check that shit out when I um when I get when I get when he the way he was moving in the ring against Danny Garcia and shit like that, he was trying to get his second win. For one, he ain't gonna be able to do that for Errol Spence. That's number one. The pressure and the body work is gonna be way too hectic for um Keith Thurman to, to subside. And I guarantee you it's no way that Keith Thurman lasts over eight rounds against Errol Spence. John Peterson was landing some some nice ass shots against Errol Spence in his last fight. He was putting in some good work. He just had the wrong game plan. And and he told Barry Hunter after that fight, man, I got way more. My my tank, my tank's still full. Like, he had way more work to do. But Barry Hunter, being the man that he is, did the right thing and told that man, hey, look, we can, I can't stand to see my fight, my fighter look like this. Lamont was game. Lamont was game, but but he was just like, man, man, hey, what, whatever you want to do. You know how I am. You know I want to fight. Lamont gave it his all. That was a good fight, Lamont uh, and Errol Spence. That was a great fight, but Barry Hunter knew he couldn't. He he just knew by that, like that round five and six. He was just like, bro, I can't, I can't let you go. I like this because if I let this shit go on two more rounds, you gonna get hurt. Like you going to the hospital tonight. And he did what a smart fighter would do. I I want to see. Now I know y'all if y'all paying attention to boxing news at the last fight for the Jerry Hurd fight and the Laura fight. Um, Errol Spence and, of course, you know, uh, Jamal Charlo, I mean, Jamel Charlo was in the crowd. And after the fact, um, you know, Errol, I mean, Errol Spence and uh, Kale Brook was talking about a fight at 154, you know. And uh, Kale Brook was like, yeah, we don't have to have no belts or none of that. Nigga, Errol Spence was like, nigga, what the fuck you mean we ain't got to have no belts? Nigga, I'm not finna just come to England or nothing like that and I ain't finna gain no belt up off of you. He was like, but if you want it again, then you can get this work again. You know what I'm saying? You letting them know, bro, no, you ain't finna just come over here and start talking this and making demands. He's like, I want the fight. I respect you. But is this legit? What what you saying? Oh, the the fight at um, 154? It could happen. You Spence don't Spence want that work with anybody. I honestly believe if if I, I honestly believe like right now, like if Spence was like fighting at like 175, like if that was his weight, I honestly believe he would fight Deontay Wilder if he had the chance. I don't see, I, ju- I just see it. I see him fighting Deontay Wilder if he had the chance. I don't think, I don't think anybody power wise, like honestly, I'm looking for a wife, you know. Hey, bro, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. I don't know what you like, but. Go ahead and get on up out here. And if you go in the Houston shit, we got everything you they got they got every kind of person you would want. It's other than New York, hands down, Houston is probably the most uh diverse city in the country. Man, why all these damn people that's online? Why is all these dropping off? It's like it be up at like twelve, thirteen, and then it's dropping off to like seven, eight. I don't know what's going on. How's the stream looking for y'all? We need a light heavyweight to take him out. He's got great hands, great hands, good footwork. Uh, better be if, honestly, bro, Adonis Stevenson, bro, can can take care of all of these dudes, including Kovalev, bro. But I don't know what he 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 just bullshit, bro. I don't. He got the most vicious left hand I've ever seen in my life. I ain't never seen nobody with no left hand like Adonis Stevenson. That when I when he when I say he put you to sleep, he put you to sleep. What just happened? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me what happened. Andre Ward, man. If Andre Ward was still fighting, he'd be the best left, um, uh, the best light heavyweight. Trust me. I'm sore. So that's I'm a good man. Okay, that's what's up. B died. Oh, I don't know. What's wrong with the stream? I don't know. It may it may be your connection. Y'all let me know how to um 
how the stream is looking. Y'all let me know how the stream is looking, man. Because if it's looking like it's getting weak or something like that, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it in. But I don't think I'm going to stream. I'm probably going to stream this probably another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to uh, probably grab me something to eat because I'm starting to get hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. And I'm away. And I got to check out a few more other things. You know what I'm saying? For later on. And I got some other shit that I got to attend to. War was such a technical fighter. Absolutely, bro. And he 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 was just a dog, bro. Andre War was just that dude. Andre Ward is the best fighter outside of Floyd Mayweather that, you know, in this last, you know, this last 10, 15 years. Terrence Crawford got a real case. Uh Errol Spence got a case. He's still good, but he getting ready to come back. He getting ready to come back to boxing anyway. I mean, I just don't see uh, nah, he coming back, bro. If you've been keeping up with Andre Warren, he coming back, bro. He, I think he really just took out just to get him a little bit more rest. And, he, you know, he wanted to spend some time with his family because, you know, he'd be away and he doing this and, you know, stuff like that. I think he's getting ready to have another baby, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's getting ready to have another baby. But because um, I follow him on Instagram. Okay, I'm good. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, probably other people just getting offline and probably got some other stuff to take care of. But I appreciate everybody who came through anyway. Because I don't know what's going on. Because I'm seeing all these damn people dropping off. He probably want to let his body and brain heal up. You know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, because cause the top fighters, bro, like, it's not like he didn't take some punishment from when he when he fought in that Kovalev fight. You know, and those were the toughest fights. The Sullivan, Sullivan versus Barrera fight and all that. Those fights were uh, easier than Kovalev. You know, he had he had a tough time the first time with Kovalev, but it would be if you couldn't get no road work in and you was and you was injured during the fight. And he ain't even make no he ain't even make no qualms about that. You know, and I, I, that's why I love and respect Virgil Hunter, bro. Virgil Hunter, it's like when Virgil Hunter do do fucking interviews, bro. I just be tuned in because he got that voice. He got that granddaddy voice where you just talk. When he talk, you just listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Virgil Hunter just lure you in, bro. He, he got like a voice that like calm you down, bro. Like you just you just be listening to what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't be. Are you in a, are you ever group in social media? Nah, I don't. Yo, so Deshaun came to my school. What school do you go to, real family? Because <clears throat> you didn't finish your message, you must have hit the return button by mistake. We was allowed to ask some questions in this bitch one after. How does it feel to be a millionaire? How do you think it feels? It was fun. What do you mean? It's, it's the best you could ask? <laughs> like the best thing you could ask that's that was a dumbass question i mean anybody should know i mean i'm not saying i, I think it's gonna be great at first i think but once you didn't have money for for quite some time you know like a, yeah exactly exactly she's setting herself up to be a thought and i don't even use that word but it is what it is she's setting herself up for failure She'll be on ball alert soon enough. She's a senior. Top like come on, man. Mm. Hey, it is what it is. She know her place. She know her role, and she gonna play it well, as well as she can. <laughs> mm. I guess somebody got to do it. Just saw. Hey, Brandon, bro. Hey, they've been going in for the last out, oh, man. I was getting so many DMs about this little shit, and I got some more stuff I got to check out once I get off the stream. I'm probably going to um, stream for like another five minutes, and I'm going to call her a wrap. But we was just in here talking about that. We were talking about mock draft that I just did, and um, and we were also talking about some boxing. If any boxer would go, could go in. Uh, bro, you know what? I'm going to be real. And honestly, I probably shortened the timeline of how long I think Floyd actually, because I said, I think for the last two years, 
that Floyd been training for MMA for like two years. Like two years before even the McGregor fight. That's what I meant. And Robert Garcia did an interview. Robert Garcia did an interview just, what, yesterday that I saw on Fight Hype. And he said he think Floyd been training for MMA for like five years now. And I would not be surprised if he did. For one, he the mastermind. Like, if you really think that he was going to go to MMA without having any skills in MMA, and he's going to be in there with... For one, if he goes into an MMA fight, for one, he ain't fighting no grapplers. Let's just get that straight. He fighting dudes that, that fight straight up and down. And that's why I kept saying, like, for anybody who thinks if he was to fight Conor McGregor, hey, if he was to, if he was to fight anybody in MMA, like somebody like Conor McGregor, Bro, he washes Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor don't even have stamina in MMA or boxing. Did y'all not see the last two fights he had against Nate Diaz? And he was tired after that second round, and especially in the second uh, fight with Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz beat him. Yeah, he was accumulating points, and he was winning rounds in the earlier fight. But, bro, don't nobody. Come on, bro. If you actually believe that Conor McGregor is going to win a fight, Especially with four ounce gloves, he couldn't even handle Floyd with eight ounce gloves. And now he's gonna be able to handle him with four ounce gloves? Come on, bro, be real. How is he mentally gonna beat Floyd? That's one. How is he gonna have a mental edge on Floyd? How is he how is he gonna psych him out? How is he gonna set him up? He already shown you in a boxing ring, if we come into fighting, he didn't he caught Floyd with clean uppercuts and everything. And couldn't even wobble Floyd. Like, Floyd was never in no trouble in the fight whatsoever. So now, all of a sudden, because they got four ounce girls and he in a cage, that now Conor McGregor's going to end up giving him problems? Bro, get out of here, bro. Conor McGregor don't kick unless he's measuring. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, wise. Conor McGregor don't kick nobody unless he measuring. He'll do some he'll do some copperware moves and some jujitsu system, but he don't win like that. When he wins a fight, even when he on the ground, he gets up and lets dudes get up and and knock them down. Yo Dante, yo donate if you're talking. Don't buy cigarettes. Oh, I don't I don't buy those anyway. I don't buy those anyway. I don't disrespect the temple. Yeah, so um. That ain't my route. I hate cigarette smoke. I hate the way they smell. I hate the way they look. They make your breath stink. Like, it's just, nah. Cigarettes are trash. Honestly, I would rather see Max Holloway. Now, I want to see I want to see Conor McGregor again in full because everybody going to sit here. And, yeah, I, I feel that, Ronald. I want to see Conor. I want to see Conor versus Woods Collins because everybody's giving Conor the excuse. Well, it was a boxing match. He did that. You should hear how Skip Bayless was was out here sucking them off. Like it was just crazy. Like you, when you listen to Skip Bayless, you realize everybody. You know. You know what people I realize who vote for who who these two people always go against Floyd, and it seems like every fighter that they go with it always loses. Have y'all noticed that Mark Wahlberg? Everybody that he rides with in boxing or MMA loses. He was riding for Ronda Rousey, loses. Riding for Pacquiao, loses. Riding for Canelo, loses to Floyd. Like, he was riding for Conor, loses to Floyd. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't, man, look. Yo, he right here. I don't, I don't know what is. Don't let Flan fight for D. That would be a bad matchup. For one, if he has any grappling techniques or anything like that, or if he's, a kickboxer or something like that, then Floyd ain't finna put himself in that type of situation. If he gonna fight, he gonna fight somebody. For one, Floyd is smarter than everybody in the room when it comes to setting up tactics. So don't think that Floyd Mayweather's finna go in every single fight. Man, I appreciate you coming through, Ron. I, I appreciate it, bro. No problem. You come through whenever. Um, yeah, I just don't see no situation where He's going to go in a fight where he's going to fight a known grappler or something like that. Like, he ain't going to fight no Jose Aldo. Like, let's just be real. He ain't going to fight nobody like that. He's going to fight somebody that is straight up and down, who know they got hands. You know, somebody like that, you know. But somebody in MMA going to have to take. The only way they're going to win is a takedown. Ain't nobody knocking him out, especially for no flying key. Ain't nobody. He Come on, bro. For one, his reflexes are still, even at 40 years old, his reflexes are better than anybody in MMA right now, including Tyron Woodley. 
and John Jones. And they're the best two fighters in MMA. But nobody talks about them. People talk about Khabib. People talking about Conor McGregor. People talk about Ronda Rousey. But ain't nobody talking about Tyron Woodley. And ain't nobody talking about John Jones like that. They get shitted on. Tom Brown. Tom. John Jones got the best record in MMA. He only got with like one loss. And all these other dudes got like three and four losses, eight losses. But they still perked up as like these grand champions. But bro, your record don't even indicate so. You know what I'm saying? That's what I hate about MMA. In MMA, you can have 13, 14, hell, 20 losses. But if you beat the right opponents and you and you marketed it the right way, you can you 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 consider the all time great in MMA. And that would never happen in boxing. It would never happen in boxing. That's why legacies in boxing are far superior to anything that MMA will ever be able to do. Yeah, Tyron Willie, that dude, bro. I actually watched one of his fights, bro, and I don't even watch MMA like that, but he just so happened to be on this particular night that I kind of seen it. And, yeah, exactly. He ain't getting stopped by anybody. He ain't going to – exactly, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. We all know John Jones is the best fighter in MMA. He's the best fighter in MMA, period. I'm going to even go as far as to say he's better than, like, um, Randy Coates, who were, yeah, well, he's better than them anyway. He's better than Chuck Liddell. Liddell Chuck Liddell wasn't all that. He's suffering from brain damage. Like, you, you listen to him talk sometimes. Like, he be slurring. And, like, he, he didn't fall in wars. They take, they take that war shit, like, too seriously, bro. This ain't about no wars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, he's not he's not better than – Chuck Liddell ain't better than him. Um, What's the old boy that wanted to fight uh, Roy Jones? What's his name? Uh. Damn, I'll, I'll be knowing his name, but I'll be forgetting it. Um, he was calling out Roy Jones for the longest. Anderson Silva, that's his name. I don't I don't see Anderson Silva and nobody like that beating no John Jones. John Jones is too tactical. He's a smarter fighter. He knows how to judge distance. He knows how to use his length. He knows how to finish you, and he a dog. Like, you just don't. Yeah, they don't they don't want it with John Jones, bro. You can bring out anybody you want. He gonna know how to negate. He knows how to get out of the clinch. He knows how to he knows how to you, you ain't gonna get him to the ground. Like, bro, he's too smart for that. He's too tactical. He knows what he's doing. But see, they don't want guys like him because at the end of the day, they consider him like a boring fighter in MMA, which is not true. It ain't true at all. It's boring because he ain't Rocky Balboa. He ain't this, this gladiator. Nigga, that ain't how to fight. You don't last long like that. That's why the black fighter is disrespected the way that he is right now because they don't respect the fact that he has longevity, the better career, the better legacy, makes the more money, and has the more skill. It makes it look easy when they beat you. That's why people don't like Floyd Mayweather because when he beats you, it makes you look so bad, and you psychologically can't even get over it. How long ago did he fight De La Hoya? 11 years ago? And De La Hoya still got Floyd Mayweather name in his mouth. Pacquiao still talking about Floyd Mayweather. Like, when, he, when Floyd beat you, he beat you here first. And then he just make it look easy in the ring. Because I remember watching that, uh, that Daniel Cormier fight. He smashed, he smashed Daniel Cormier. I mean, I know he ended up popping hot for some for some PED or something like that, but Daniel Cormier was never in any position, regardless of PED or not. He was never in no position to be no John Jones skill wise. That's why I like Chris Bird as a, was a good fighter. Chris Bird, the heavyweight. Chris Bird was nice. I used to love playing with him on Fight Night Round One. <laughs> I think he was like everybody, one of everybody's favorite characters on Fight Night Round One. <laughs> And I and and, and 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 talking about fight night, they talk. I, I hopefully they making the. Uh, I I want to say I seen some where they gonna end up making a fight night this year, and if they do that, it's a wrap. And John Jones is on a never is on another level. They don't want no parts of John Jones. They don't want no part. They don't want no parts of John Jones, bro. It's it's just not it's just not what they want. Yeah, man, but it's been like uh, well, it's like 49 minutes. I'm finna go ahead and I'm finna go grab me something to eat because I'm getting hungry, bro. I'm finna get ready to watch a movie. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming through. Fuck with your boy. Everybody, y'all give me that like. Give me them likes, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all keep coming through. Uh, I'll probably do something else tomorrow, some news break. Um, y'all go ahead and y'all let me know.
uh, on what it is. If any uh, news come up, I'm definitely going to try to break it. And uh, y'all follow through on the next video. Peace.